If you'd found yourself wishing you'd stayed on Windows 10, don't worry. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to roll back from Windows 11 to Windows 10. Before I get started, please take a moment to subscribe to How To Do It All for more how-to videos. If you've downloaded Windows 11, you've probably experienced some bugs. Users have reported a variety of issues, including unresponsive start menus and slow loading apps. However, that's to be expected as Windows 11 isn't even in beta yet. You could write it out and wait for Microsoft to release the next update, or you could roll back to Windows 10. To begin, click on the start menu and navigate to the settings cog icon. Then on the menu to the left, click on Windows Update. Once in the Windows Update panel, click on Advanced Options. Then scroll down until you see the Recovery menu, click into it. Once on the Recovery page, you will see a few recovery options. Click on the Go Back button on the previous version of Windows option. If you don't see this option, then I have bad news. Windows automatically clears any backup information after 10 days to save space on your computer. If it has been more than 10 days since you installed Windows 11, then your only option is to do a clean installation of Windows 10. This will cause all your files to be deleted, so make sure you do a backup of any important files before you do this. You can check out our previous video on how to install Windows 10 here. After clicking the Go Back button, a pop-up will appear. Since this is still a pre-beta build of Windows 11, Microsoft will ask you, why are you going back? It's best to be honest and provide some feedback about your experience as it will help Microsoft improve Windows 11. The next window will offer to check to see if there is an update, hoping that you change your mind. However, I think we are committed at this point, so click no thanks. Then click next and next again. Okay, this is the final window, last chance to change your mind. After clicking go back to earlier build, your computer will restart and begin restoring Windows 10. After a few restarts, Windows 10 should be restored, but you're not done yet. You might have forgotten that you are still a part of the Windows Insider program, meaning that Windows 11 could install itself on your computer again. So let's take some steps to make sure that that doesn't happen. Once in Windows 10, go to the Start menu, then click on the Settings cog icon, then Update and Security. On the left menu, scroll down to Windows Insider Program. Under Stop Getting Preview Builds, we are going to turn the slider on. This should stop Windows from auto-updating to Windows 11. However, we can go even further and completely remove our machine from the Windows Insider Program. To the right of the Insider Program page, there is a small link that says, Leave the Insider Program. Click on the link. This will open up a Microsoft web page that will remove your account from the Insider Program. Log into the account that is tied to your machine. Don't worry, you can always opt back in if you'd like. Then click on the blue Leave the Program Now button. The next page will have a Stop Receiving Insider Preview Builds. Click on that as well. After that, you can close the web browser. Your settings page should look like this now. Click the Restart Now button. Your PC will restart once. And that's it. You've successfully returned to Windows 10. Nice. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more videos from How To Do It All, and make sure to check out our Windows 10 and Windows 11 playlists for more Windows how-to videos. Thanks for watching.